we're here. Uh, we've got a lot of activity going on on Twitter right now. So I'm here with Mark S. Lucky again, um, Twitter's manager of journalism and news. So many networks have now called the presidential race for Barack Obama. What happened on Twitter? So we saw a huge explosion of tweets when the network started to call for Barack Obama. You saw almost eight times the number of tweets, almost seven, 372 hundred three hundred seventy two thousand uh, tweets per minute uh, from people tweeting either uh, congratulations or uh, support also people tweeting negatively uh, but there's a huge groundswell of tweets happening That's right amazing. now. That's amazing so yes. a real explosion on Twitter. Absolutely. And what are some of the trends that you're seeing what are people talking about? Well people are really sort of thanking Ohio Ohio being one of the deciding factors in a lot of the networks calling and saying you know thank you Ohio we love you Ohio so if you live in Ohio right now you're probably very popular and we're also if you're a Barack Obama <laughs> <laughs> yes. Exactly. Um, and um, we're also seeing among conservatives, you know, they're still waiting uh, to see what the results are because um, a, a lot of the races are still open. A lot of the uh, votes are still uncounted. They're waiting to see if this is an official thing. And um, and we'll see what happens throughout the end of the night. And I should say that uh, the Wall Street Journal has not yet called the race for Obama. We're waiting on yeah. the Associated Press to make our call. Mm -hmm. um, but many networks have, have done this. And of course, Barack Obama himself uh, tweeted something that was. You know, he said, we're all in this together. That's how we campaign. That's who we are. Thank you. And it's signed B.O., which means that Barack Obama himself actually tweeted that. So he's clearly sort of accepting by tweet here. Um, yes, he is. So, you know, what's the best way to see what different political persuasions are tweeting about right now? The best way is to follow the different hashtags. Um, if you're uh, adding on uh, hashtags like P2, that means you're more of a progressive, you're more of a liberal. If you are adding hashtags like TCOT, T-C-O-T, that means you are uh, tweeting more with uh, conservatives. But That's top conservatives on Twitter, Top right? conservatives on Twitter, exactly. Okay. Uh, but really just sort of joining the global conversation. A lot of people are using a variety of hashtags, but the main hashtag that we're seeing right now is hashtag election 2012. That's where people are talking about the global conversation, both conservative, liberal, and also in between independents. Yeah, that's the one that I had up on my tweet deck and it was flying by so fast I could barely read it. <laughs> Absolutely. So I, I believe you about all those tweets going by. <laughs> and so, you know, is this some kind of record in terms of tweets per minute or have we surpassed this in the, in the We're past? We're still establishing whether this is a record, but um, Obviously, with 327,000 uh, tweets per minute, that is a huge number. Uh, this uh, this election is the most tweeted political event of the year, um, and obviously, we'll need to go back and look and see how this stacks up against other events in the year. Another thing you pointed out to me, Mark, earlier was another Obama tweet um, that you said was his most retweeted tweet ever. We yes. have it up here on the screen. Retweet if you're on Team Obama tonight. So it looks like it had almost 200,000 retweets uh, the last time I looked at it. I'm sure that's gone up by now. And one of the trending topics that we're seeing is the hashtag that's included in this tweet, hashtag Team Obama. A lot of people are tweeting uh, with Team Obama, but you're also seeing conservatives who are tweeting with Team Romney to show their support for the candidate. Got it. Yeah. And we haven't heard from Mitt Romney on Twitter yet, but we'll we be looking for that.